walking in the house and on my television set, there was John Morgan. I think I called him before the commercial actually even ended. The feeling I had when we finally got our new roof, it was a peace of mind. My wife and I will be sitting on our couch and the Morgan Morgan commercial comes on and we clink our glasses together and we say, for the people. The world is ready for a change. So am I. Change your future with focused career training at Northwest College. A few hours a day, a few days a week, and you could be career ready in as little as nine months. Explore your options, start right away, and train for the new career you really want. The future you choose is up to you. Explore your options at careernw.com. Joining us live, Andrew Garfield from Tick, Tick, Boom, plus Respect star Jennifer Hudson. Tomorrow on the KTLA 5 Morning News. Words hurt. Words last. Right now at 5, outrage over an outburst. A student caught on camera lobbing racial slurs from the stands at a high school basketball game. What one worried mother is demanding be done six-year-old child. She's someone's daughter that was taken away from us. Senselessly. Authorities announced a big reward to catch whoever killed a SoCal teen and dumped her body along the freeway. Why she may have been the victim of sex trafficking violence. A beautiful 45-year-old mother of three who died last year of COVID for one reason, because Kaiser refused to give her the COVID vaccine. A heartbroken family files suit against Kaiser after their loved one is killed by COVID. LA health officials say the city has passed its Omicron peak, but who's now warning future variants may just be as deadly and dangerous. The news at five starts right now. Halfway there, this is the KTLA 5 News at 5 on this Wednesday. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. The big story this afternoon, the parents of a high school basketball player in Orange County are calling for change after someone yelled racist slurs at their son during a game. Well, the slurs were captured on video last Friday as Laguna Hills High played Portola High School. KTLA's Christina Pascucci live in Irvine with the community's reaction. Christina. Hi, Paige and Cher. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, and we're hearing that you can actually hear racist slurs said throughout the entire video, not just the part that's directed at that student. The mother we spoke to says she wants something done. Uh, we're at Portola High, where tonight the boys' basketball team is going to play at 7 o'clock, and we understand there's going to be a huge showing of support after that disturbing video went viral. Where is his slave owner? Hateful words spewed by a Laguna Hills High student per the district at last Friday's Laguna Hills versus Portola High basketball game. Words hurt. Words last. The impact of those things can last for lifetimes. The mother of Portola High senior guard Makai Brown says her son had been focused on college and upping his game. He had been reviewing game footage the morning after when he heard the racist rants. They don't know that my son is a stellar student. They don't know anything about him except for the color of his skin. Saddleback Valley Unified says a student received immediate consequences and quote, although apologies are necessary, they do not suffice. The words used by the student will never be acceptable. This is a learning opportunity for our school communities that there is ongoing work to be done in building continued mutual respect and understanding. Mackay's mother said during an Irvine City Council meeting Tuesday night, the incident has made her son pessimistic about the fight against racism. Please do your part and show him that he's wrong. I was appalled and I was shocked. People feel emboldened that they can say whatever it is that they want to say. The Irvine City Council says it is behind Makai Brown. They plan on writing a letter not only to Saddleback Valley, but also to Irvine Unified for all of them to take action. I'd like to see the school itself do is to really have education. My message to him, my message to his family is to just do better. Take the time to get to know someone. And coming up next hour, more about what we know uh, of the student that you could hear in that video, Pedro and Cher. Well, Christina, what does Sabrina Brown want to happen at this point now? 
uh, share, she told me she wants continual, meaningful action, not just to, you know, acknowledge this was bad, but actually to do something, diversity and inclusion classes, uh, DEI classes, rather, and things of that sort, not only at the school where this happened, but also all throughout Orange County. I'll send it back to you. The kid was clearly around other students as well, and no one's told him to be quiet, so clearly something needs to be done here. Thank you, Christina. A student at a Westlake school is stabbed during a violent confrontation on campus. This happening at about 1245 this afternoon near classrooms at the Miguel Contreras Learning Complex. A 17-year-old male student is said to be okay in stable condition at a local hospital. Well, police say they have taken another student into custody. They are calling today's attack a possible retaliation for an earlier altercation that happened days ago. The school was briefly put on lockdown during the investigation, but that lockdown has been lifted. Now to this, authorities have announced a $110,000 reward in the search for 16-year-old Tiani Theus's killer. You did this story last night, yeah. and uh, now the...